NBC7's What's Up is sponsored by Bill Howe Plumbing, Heating, and Air, Flood and Restoration. We know how. I'm Greg Bledsoe, and this is your morning update for Friday, September 4th. Here's a look at our latest coronavirus numbers right now through San Diego County. 700 people have now died from the virus here. There were five new deaths reported yesterday, along with 325 new cases. The average percentage of tests coming back positive right now is right around 4%. In our daily case rate, that's at 5.8%. That's the number of cases for every 100,000. If it goes above seven, then we would move into the purple tier according to state metrics. And that means that we could see some of the businesses restrictions put back in place. Local leaders are hoping the holiday weekend does not contribute to a rise in more cases. Doctors say there's enough evidence that holidays can lead to spikes in coronavirus cases. It's similar to what we saw after the 4th of July holiday. So they're urging everyone be very careful how you celebrate the holiday weekend and do not let your guard down. Highway Patrol is going to be out on the roads this weekend looking for drunk drivers. Labor Day is a maximum enforcement period for CHP and that means that all available units are going to be out patrolling from tonight through Monday. CHP says Labor Day weekend last year there were more than a thousand drivers who were arrested for being under the influence and more than 40 people who were killed in crashes. With temperatures expected to reach triple digits this weekend, a flex alert has been issued for Labor Day weekend, primarily because power grid operators are expecting a lot of people to run their air conditioners. So starting tomorrow, Cal ISO is asking people to consider saving their energy to avoid outages, but specifically between 3 p.m. and 9 p.m., turning off any unnecessary lights, setting your thermostat to 78 degrees. Those are just a couple of the really simple things you can do that can really help make a difference. Another section of SeaWorld is reopening. Outdoor areas of the park open last week for a special event, the barbecue and brews event. Well, now starting this weekend, according to the updated county guidance, indoor exhibits will be open. Only 25% capacity though, and this includes the park's penguin, shark, and turtle reef exhibits. Struggling businesses in Carlsbad are about to get a little help from the city. A lot of restaurants were forced to close indoor dining and move tables to outside patios. But to do so, they needed a permit. Now the city has stopped charging for those outdoor dining permits and hopes to help some of those struggling restaurants. They're also going to reimburse the restaurants that have paid for those permit fees since March 1st. Well, this weekend is your last chance to get your fix of fair food. When the county fair was canceled, a lot of the vendors started operating out of a drive through at the fairgrounds parking lot. They, well, they're shutting that down after this weekend. So the last time you can get your bites today and tomorrow from noon to eight, noon to six on Sunday, and then one more time on Labor Day. We will continue to bring you the very latest news here on NBC7.com and on TV. And you can also, as we always remind you, learn more in our daily podcast every morning today in San Diego. We talk about the day's biggest headlines. We do it in about five minutes or so. So go ahead and subscribe wherever you normally get your podcasts. Have a safe weekend. Stay cool out there. It's going to be hot. We'll talk to you soon. NBC7's What's Up is sponsored by Bill Howe Plumbing, Heating, and Air, Flood, and Restoration. Bill Howe is a family-run company that is as diverse as their services. Promotes employees from within and gives back generously to the San Diego community. I am Bill Howe. I am Bill Howe. We are Bill Howe. We are Bill Howe. Because, because we, we know how. how.